Levi's dreaming on a Hawaiian vacation. A poor white Levi's were covering his femur until he covered them all. Rock ass monsters! Mr. G. Wait a second, Mr. G. The tennis was closed. Did they say it's all about this bunch here? On Idaho Street. Mr. G. Mr. G. Mr. G. Mr. G. Mr. G, 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 Mr.
I spent him while streaming on a Hawaiian vacation. Unworn white Levi's were covering his femur until he covered them with coffee and creamer. Mr. G, Mr. G, Mr. G, Mr. G, teacher Adler is teacher on Isle of Streamer. Mr. G, Mr. G, Mr. G, Mr. G, teacher Adler is teacher on Isle of Streamer. Hi, I'm Mr. G. Welcome to my class. Hope you guys are having a wonderful day today. Uh, today is the last class day of the year. Uh, it's December 30th today, and tomorrow is December 31st. The next day after that is New Year's Day. So, if I don't see you again, I'll see you next year. Everybody have a happy and safe New Year's. We live in a scary world. Kids. Uh, it took me a long time to realize that I, you know, I previously you know, saw the world with rose-covered glasses, as they say, and you know sometimes it's okay to do that, but other times you uh, really want to uh, not be left as a sitting duck, and that's what you what you're doing if you're not careful with country yourself. Man. Hey, country man, welcome. Sup? Hey, Mrs. J, I heard you uh, earlier during the intro. Welcome, guys. Uh, today we're going to be learning about the wonderful state of Wisconsin. I have a great lecture planned for you guys. MRSG Mermaid. It's the Sup? last class of the year. Hi, Mayor G and Country Men. Hi. Hi. <laughs> I said that like that. Um, I'm fostering a new CAT, Mrs. J. Her name is M I S S Y. But anyways, um, she's got a wonderful home waiting for her. Uh, but back to the class, we're going to try to keep on topic. Today's the last class day of the year. Uh, there's no class tomorrow on Thursday, New Year's Eve day. And there's no class on Friday, New Year's Day. Um, Saturday, there's not ever class on Saturday. And Sunday, there's not ever class on Sunday. I will uh, be doing IRL streaming possibly, uh, but probably just some desktop streaming. Maybe I'll break out the steering wheel and uh, play some games this weekend. Uh, it's good to um, stay home and be safe if you can. It's the worst time of the year. It's the worst time, one of the worst times in, in modern history uh, to go to a New Year's Eve party. It really is, guys. Uh, if you guys watch the news today, um, a 41-year-old uh, House of Representative, he had just won, um, or no, he, he a representative from the House, the United States House of Representatives, uh, he caught COVID and he died. He was only 41 years old. Uh, he was just inaugurated into the uh, house or sworn in uh, like less than a couple weeks ago. So it hits you and it hits you fast and it, it hits you as a surprise. I'm 41 years old, by the way. Uh, so hearing that, you know, it really uh, it put things in perspective. You don't want to lose your life by going to a New Year's party. And not just that, um, I heard on the Fox News National radio program today it was a real surprising I had to clean my ears and then go re-listen to it online but they were they even announced it that a crime is on the rise on heights that, that have never been seen before all across the United States including Hawaii uh, but major in, in, but, in, but everywhere crime is on the rise and there's no denying it anymore and the media isn't denying it maybe CNN is but Fox News at least they're not denying it anymore crime 
So, I mean, a lot of you guys laugh at my self-defense videos on YouTube and, you know, uh, taking precautions, but uh, people are wising up and, and the it's, a, it's a dangerous world we live in. Said, people are going crazy because of lockdowns. Uh, I wouldn't. I wouldn't be surprised. You know, I wouldn't be surprised. Um, then we're, we, there's a uh, portion of the uh, United States that are uh, extremely simple-minded. Um, I think it's like the average IQ in the in the United States is like 85, 90. Um, the average IQ on on other continents is even lower. Uh, the average IQ on you know Africa and uh, other continents is like 60 or 70, and that's like. Uh, disabled. So, you know, the average person on these other continents are disabled. Okay, continuing. That was on. Um, so we're learning about Wisconsin today. Uh, you know, start the class, give you a, a brief run over, run down, a brief rundown of Wisconsin, and then we'll go into a presentation, some slides, and uh, some different fun stuff. No, it's the last day of the year. It feels like a Friday, right? It, this is so much like real teaching. I mean, this is real teaching. It is. Uh, if you're just joining the class, uh, we do get a lot of new uh, viewers and new class members every day. Uh, this class happens Monday through Friday at this time. Uh, we go over a different state every day. And once we're done with the states, we're going to start on countries. Okay, so Wisconsin. It's known as the cheese state. Uh, the Green Bay Packers, have you ever seen a Green Bay Packers football game? Really popular football team. They all have cheese heads on. Now, what's so great about the Green Bay Packers? Well, uh, the Green Bay Packers, back when I liked sports, I kind of fiend an interest into them. Like, like I kind of pretended I liked them. Why? Well, my initial, my name is Gregory Brandt, and those initials are GB. Uh, the Green Bay Packers initials are GB, and on their hats it says GB. So a lot of times growing up, when I could, I would get a Green Bay Packers hat because it said GB. Now really, I have no interest in Green Bay, Wisconsin, I, or the Packers football team. I have no reason to ever go there, but I do know a little bit about them. Uh, and it is a pretty interesting universally. Uh, the Green Bay Packers, they're the only fan-owned professional sports team. What does that mean? Well, the people of the taxpayers of Green Bay, Wisconsin, which is a small, small city. You could say Green Bay, the Green Bay Packers, is probably the smallest, if not one of the smallest, sports cities in the United States. The population of Green Bay, Wisconsin is just over 100,000. Now we're learning about uh, Wisconsin as a whole today, so this would be a good time to tell you the capital of Wisconsin is Madison, Wisconsin. Um, Madison, Wisconsin is also known as a really popular college town because uh, one of the country's largest universities, the University of Wisconsin, is located in Madison, Wisconsin. Also the capital of Wisconsin, and uh, not its largest city, but its second largest city. The largest city in Wisconsin is Milwaukee, but still only a half a million people, which is incredible because there's so much crime in Milwaukee, but you know, that's every major big city. You've heard it before. I heard it when I was a little kid and I didn't listen. Until now, I just hear, oh yeah, crime, big city, yeah, old people always say that. Nope. Um, look, look, read in between the lines there. Hey, Kenny, is that you? Well, that's lucky. Oh, that is a cookie, Kenny. Bang, bang, bang. I'm lucky, I'm a cookie. Alright. So, continuing. Um, the capital of Wisconsin is Madison, Wisconsin. Its largest city is Milwaukee. Uh, what is uh, Wisconsin known for? It's known for cheese and beer. Uh, and you can mix the two. Uh, during this lecture, we're going to go over lots of different foods of Wisconsin. Now, I don't know if that's because Wisconsin is just really big on food, which, you know, they do have a high obesity rate. Um, similar to uh, Iowa with a 32% obesity weight rate. Um, Wisconsin is up there. They also like fat, fatty fruits, but more uh, dairy. They're big on dairy. And that's one of my uh, things too. I really like dairy. I don't eat a lot of meat. Um, I do eat vegetables, but I eat a lot of dairy daily. All kinds of daily. If you look in my fridge right now, there's a bunch of different kinds of cheeses, a bunch of different kinds of yogurts, uh, creams, 
ice cream, stuff like that, milk. Uh, I'm really big on dairy products, but uh, that's just me. <laughs> and you need to know that for the test, okay? Mr. G likes dairy. Got it? What, can I make a, a joke? I'll try not to curse. Um, what were we talking about? Okay. <laughs> They're known for beer and cheese, and there is, like, things you can mix. Like I said, we're going to go over a lot of uh, cheese. Some other big industries of this, the state of Wisconsin, uh, manufacturing. They're one of the only places in the United States that um, Milwaukee actually manufactures electronics, which is usually done in Asia. Uh, a lot of insurance is sold in the Milwaukee's state of Wisconsin. Army. Said, Mr. G likes sweets. Oh, I mean dairy. He he he. Huh. Good one, huh, Mr. J. Um, Miller Brewing Company is located in Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Hey, Peach. I'm Peach. I'm Peach. You want to say hi to Mrs. J? Every time I ask Peach how she is, she's always like, I'm Peachy. How are you doing today, Peach? I'm Peachy. She's got the best name because she's got Peach Fuzz. Her fur is so short. It's like Peach Fuzz. Peachy, why have you been ignoring me? I've been growing up. I'm a book cutter now. I don't need no who much. Except when I need the food in the waters. You talking to? Bang, 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 bang. My name is Peachy. And I'm a good kitty. Let me all kiss. I kiss your camera. <sighs> All right, quiet class today, huh? Is the uh, TTS not working or what? Anyways, uh, it's a good time to shout out YouTube when the Twitch class isn't speaking, uh, with the exception of Mrs. J. MRSJ Mermaid. So, TBS did stop. Hmm. Well, uh, thanks again, uh, Mrs. J, for your two cents. Uh, we're going to continue with Wisconsin. We're also going to learn a lot, a lot about the foods in Wisconsin. We're going to learn some fun facts about Wisconsin. And we're going to learn about some famous people that uh, have called Wisconsin home. Just the cameraman right there. Uh, now, some more about Wisconsin. Uh, it's known as the swing state, uh, just like Minnesota. Minnesota and Wisconsin, they've been in the news immensely. Uh, those were the two states that Biden and Trump both wanted, needed uh, for the election, and both are contested. Both very close. Um, both have 10 electoral votes. Count them. And um, both apparently went to Biden, supposedly. The AP <laughs> says that Wisconsin and Minnesota, there are 10, there are 10 respected electoral votes each, 20 total. Uh, went to Joe Biden. Okay, but this isn't a politics class continuing. Uh, so there's a wide variety of Democrats and Republicans in the uh, state of Wisconsin. Uh, the overall uh, population of Wisconsin is 5.8 million. So they have more residents than Minnesota, but they have the same number of electoral votes. Um, like I said, there's only three cities, and if you call Green, you got to call Green Bay a city because they have a professional sports team. But also, Green Bay is close to Wisconsin and close to Chicago, so uh, a lot of their market does go into that area. Um, but that's the third largest city, only 100,000 people. So once again, where are the other 5 million people? You know, Milwaukee population, 500,000. Madison population, about 250,000. So where does everyone else live? What does that tell you, class? Well, there's 5 million people there. You know, some states, the majority of the people live in the major metropolitan areas, and there's a few small towns. Other states, only half a million or so people live in the major metropolitan areas, and then there's small towns throughout. So uh, Wisconsin has a lot of farms, a lot of small towns, and Minnesota is known as the land of 10,000 lakes, but Wisconsin has over 15,000 lakes, way more than Minnesota. So. Just keep that in mind. <laughs> no, uh, seriously, you know, Minnesota is the land of lakes, but, uh, well, Minnesota is the land of 10,000 lakes, but Wisconsin uh, has much more, have, have many more lakes. All right. Now, uh, continuing on, um, 
The uh, state bird of Wisconsin is a familiar bird that we've been over before. It's the American Robin. Uh, it's the same bird, uh, as you can see in the corner right there. Uh, it's the same bird that we've, uh, you know, it's a, it's a state bird of a few different states. So we won't spend too much time on that. Uh, the state flower of Wisconsin, it's a very nice purple flower. It's called the Common Blue Violet. And uh, it's my favorite color, actually. I really like the color purple, um, as you can see up there. And uh, that's what it looks like there. And then we'll, I can get you a uh, close-up of the Common Blue Violet. Also, uh, if you want to see one individually, Got it right there, the common blue violet. Oh yeah, I meant to, I was uh, gonna shout out the uh, YouTube stream. Um, so if any of you are watching right now on YouTube, then I want you to know that I hate you. No, seriously, I want you to know that uh, I'm doing this for you. I'm doing it for you. So give me a thumbs up and if you're from Wisconsin, Put something in the chat uh, about cheese or what do you think about Wisconsin. Even if you're watching this a few years from now or whatever, okay? Say I'll something about Wisconsin. Sid, that's a pretty little flower. Has anyone, uh, thanks, Miss J. I'm going to put it back on the screen here. Has any of you ever been to Wisconsin? No? I haven't either, to tell you the truth. All right, so continuing on, this is the uh, Wisconsin state flag. If you didn't notice, it's blue. Blue, spelled B-L-U-E. Now, uh, you don't see it too clearly, but it says on the flag, forward. Now, why does it say forward? I don't know. But I do know that the United States seal is in the middle of the flag. You can see the red, white, and blue. I know it's, it's not a good picture. Uh, it's right in the middle of the flag, and it's, it's actually the United States coat of arms. And the one reason I know this is because it says on the top there, E Pluribus Unum, which is Latin, uh, it is, which is written on a dollar bill. Who in the class knows what the phrase E Pluribus Unum, Unum? means. Also, there's a cornucopia on the flag at the bottom there. You know the cornucopia, it's that thing that looks like a uh, musical instrument that you fill up with uh, vegetables. Uh, but yeah, they're standing on corn cornucopias for some reason. Okay, continuing. Uh, if you're looking, uh, I just added a new uh, Instagram. It's on the screen right there, uh, at Mr. G Livestream. So if you want to talk about this class or uh, say something, I'll eventually post things related to this class and not just uh, cats is what I'm trying to do with this new Instagram. You know, my regular Instagram, at Gregory Joseph Brandt. I'll keep mainly the, mainly the cat pics there and keep at Mr. G Livestream having to do with the class. Once again, this is the last class of the year. We'll start back up on Monday, same time, 12 o'clock Hawaii time. If you're on the West Coast, that's 2 o'clock. If you're in the middle of the country, it's 3 or 4 o'clock. Mm -hmm. If you're on the East Coast, that's 5 o'clock. Huh. Okay, a lot of people are out uh, Christmas shopping and stuff. I think um, Twitch is having some issues right now with the chat and everything like that. So uh, if you're having issues with Twitch, uh, Twitch in general is having issues, so bear with me, guys. All right, so uh, continuing on, um, Wisconsin, it's known as the cheese state, and that's because it produces more cheese than any other state. It actually produces 26% uh, of all of the cheese produced in the United States. Hold on one second. All right. Okay, one second here. All right, so continuing on, um, let's learn some fun facts. 
How about Wisconsin? Well, Wisconsin became a state in 1848. The state animal is the badger. The University of Wisconsin, they're also known as the badgers. The state bird is the American robin. The state capital is Madison, Wisconsin, known as the top college party town. The state dog is the American water spaniel. Actually, and there's two uh, great lakes on that make up the border of Wisconsin. That's Lake Superior and Lake Michigan. Lake Michigan is the largest lake that is entirely in the United States. And Lake Superior is the largest freshwater lake in North America. Both of those lakes, Lake Michigan and Lake Superior, are two of the largest lakes in the world. The state fish is the muskie. The state flower is the wood violet. The state insect is the honeybee, and the state motto is forward. Not backwards, forward. Alright, so I hope you guys are enjoying the presentation. I just wanted to uh, let you guys know that uh, my uh, website is uh, right on the uh, screen right there. So if you want to know a little bit more about me, it's like a bio about me um, and you can also check that right there let me go ahead and grab the uh, GX studio phone https colon slash slash GX dot live All right, uh, moving on. So, some fun facts about Wisconsin. Like I said, they're one of the top cheese producers in the United States. That's what mostly everybody knows them for. Um, Wisconsin actually produces 600 varieties of cheese. The runner-up is not even half that much in second with 250 varieties, and that's California. So they are big on cheese for whatever reason. Um, I guess, you know, it's really cold, and so, uh, you know, a lot of the uh, farming is uh, dairy farming. But let's learn a little bit more about cheese and dairy. Well, Wisconsin is number one in the nation for milk goats, also as cows, having 46,000. Annually, 26 billion pounds of milk is produced in Wisconsin. Wisconsin has more than 11,000 dairy farms. Wisconsin is a leading cheese producer, making more than 600 varieties. It takes 10 pounds of milk to produce one pound of cheese. Wow! 10 pounds of milk to produce one pound of cheese. Wisconsin has more than 11,000 dairy farms. Wisconsin has up to 155,000 gallons of maple syrup and 3.59 million pounds of honey. So they don't just make uh, dairy products, they also supply maple syrup and honey. Wisconsin, and they lead the nation in cranberry production, growing more than half of the nation's supply. So what does that tell you, class? That tells you that cranberries grow well in cold weather. Just for fun, Wisconsin farms produce 6.7 million pounds of cherries, enough to make 4.9 million cherry pies. Edible eggs. Wisconsin's egg production generates about 78 million supplies, 1.3 billion eggs. I know, we, we must live in luxury, Mrs. J. I, I was really surprised to hear that too. Like, think about it. Uh, you know, how, how the hell am I able to eat all this cheese if it takes that much milk? I mean, cheese is, isn't that expensive either, but milk is kind of expensive. All right, uh, again with cranberry. The cranberry is Wisconsin's official state fruit and is produced in 20 exactly. counties. That's what I was thinking. Great minds think alike. Hey guys, once again, uh, my, my website is on the bottom of the page, gxnetwork.live. 
Uh, you'll find links to all my social media, uh, both my YouTube channels there. And uh, when you get a chance, and just go ahead and bookmark it on your uh, Seven, browser. GXnetwork.live. colon slash slash GXnetwork.live. And also Mrs. J was kind enough to put a link in there. Continuing with the slideshow, uh, we're going to be um, learning a few more fun facts about dairy. And uh, then we're going to learn about more food. But uh, continuing with the lecture about uh, different cheese. <clears throat> so the types of cheese is made in Wisconsin. Now they're number one with cheese, but it's not just cow's milk. Cow's milk is for cheddar cheese. Buffalo milk is where they make mozzarella cheese. Did you guys know that? I didn't know that. And goat's milk is how they make feta cheese. Is that why it's so good? I mean, I didn't know that. You come to this class, you gonna mother f and learn. And I didn't curse there either. I said mother effing. There's not not a curse word there. Sheep's milk. So I've had cow's milk. I've had mozzarella. I can't say I've had buffalo milk though. I've had goat's milk and I've had sheep's milk. We guys are we're learning all about cheese. So when you guys come home from school today, and your parents ask you what did you learn in Mr. G's class, you can say that you learned all about cheese and then smile and then say Wisconsin produces three billion a hundred and sixty seven million four hundred and ninety five thousand pounds of cheese per year thanks for the follow there dad joke accounting for 26 percent of the United States total what are you talking about Mr. G you said 25 percent no I didn't I said 26 Oh, maybe you did. But it's 26.2. Yeah, I rounded down, okay? Ah, screw you, Mr. G. Get out of the class. Go to the principal's office. Ah, sit on it. What does that even mean? Get out of this class. Okay, continuing. Sorry about that. The first official Wisconsin cheese was created by Ann Pickett of Mother F and Lake Mills in 1841. Woohoo! If that doesn't get you excited, then you're probably normal. Okay, continuing. Uh, but it is a, it is uh, important to note that Wisconsin didn't produce its first cheese until 1841. Now, what does that tell me? Well, 1841 wasn't a long time ago. You know, there were people that were alive during the Civil War, you know, not, uh, not too long ago. You know, maybe 30, 20, 30 years ago, right? There were, there were, there's a widower that just died, and she was like 16 when she married a Civil War veteran who was like 80 or 90. So the Civil War was in 1860, so like in 1950, this like 14, 15 year old like in the Deep South, like I know it's wrong, it's, it's wrong, like married like an 80 year old dude, yeah, I know it's wrong, it's wrong. However, she I, received widower benefits because she was a widower of a Civil War veteran. And she was alive recently. So the Civil War wasn't that long ago. The point that I'm trying to make here, and I'm not trying to make it, I am making it. The point that I am making is Wisconsin's all big on cheese, cheese this, cheese that. Cheese for life! Cheese, 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 cheese. Let's wear cheese on our head. Let's eat cheese with every meal. Let's make it a law that you have to have cheese served with every meal. That's actually used to be a law in Wisconsin. You had to have cheese with every meal. Okay? Now, they're all cheese crazy, but when you think about it, the, like if you had a time machine and you went back to the year 1840 and you were like, hey, uh, can I have cheese on that? They'd be like, what's cheese? You know? Like, they didn't make their first cheese until 1841. I don't even know if they had cheese before that. So be careful when somebody tries to promote some campy little gimmick, okay? Because in the old school Wisconsin, there wasn't even a thing called cheese, okay? Now, we're going to go over a lot of cheesy slides and cheesy foods, and I'm going to make some cheesy jokes. But just remember, Wisconsin is just a state, and it really has nothing to do with cheese. Okay, continuing. Moving on. Or, as Wisconsin state state motto is, Ford. 
Now, cheddar is one of the most popular cheeses. Well, I, I swear, this will be the last cheese we learn. But it's, it's her origin is in England. Cheddar cheese was first made in southwest England around the end of the 12th century. So they've had cheese in England for a long time. I guess Wisconsin didn't ca catch on for a while, right? So its name, Cheddar, de derives from the caves that were used to store the cheese near Cheddar, England. Interesting. So the cheese came after the city. England is the, one of the oldest ci cities in the world. The U.S. produces more than, what is that, 3 billion pounds of cheddar each year. Well, I I'm glad I know that. Okay, a little bit. Uh, now, moving on, uh, the actual name, no more cheese, but the actual name of Wisconsin, like most American states, uh, derived from a Native American phrase. Uh, the phrase Wisconsin refers to the red rocks of the Wisconsin River. And I have uh, some really great uh, pictures coming up at the end of the Wisconsin River. Uh, you want to stay tuned for the class until then. Okay, we're uh, coming up on uh, different food. We're going to do a few more slides. So uh, this slide right here, uh, you know, this is, uh, you know, some things about Wisconsin. You have cranberries up there. I don't know why it says, uh, okay, well, that's, uh, those are cranberries. That's the state fruit. They grow a lot of corn. Uh, there's Swiss cheese down there, and then there's cheese curds. They're big on cheese Seven. curds. Honey badger, he don't give a shit. Yeah, from what I hear, they're one of the most dangerous. Seven. I've got something cool I know when you have a map slide pulled up. Oh, okay, that's cool. I'll I'll uh, I'll pull one up right now. You know, this is one of the only days that I uh, seem to have uh, left the map slide at home. Well, this is the... Uh, here, let me go ahead and uh, let's get one for you real quick here. So has anybody been to Wisconsin? I, I haven't, actually. All right, I'm getting the map for you right now. It's the best I can do. Hold on one second, I'm gonna load in like two seconds. Uh, while we have this up, like I said, you got Swiss cheese, cheese curds, cranberries, corn, and a honey badger. All right, so this is the state of Wisconsin, an actual state map. You can see Green Bay is right on uh, a Great Lake. Sir, I have a friend who has a place in Sister Bay. See that little peninsula there on the east side of the state? Right on the tip of that. She oh, really? the water is super clear like the Caribbean in the summers, and that entire peninsula is actually all Swedish, including my friend. Very high Swedish population there. Wow, interesting. Interesting. Um, that's really interesting to know, countrymen. Uh, I have actually uh, was researching Swedish pancakes and some of their uh, delicacies uh, in Wisconsin. Swedish pancakes, uh, Danish Kringle, um, but also, uh, like I said, Swedish pancakes. They, um, you know, they seem to have a re really high Swedish po population. So here's another, uh, just a, a clip art of uh, the state of Wisconsin. You see we have cranberries, the honeybee, um, the, uh, the beautiful flower, the common blue violet, and the American robin. Now, while we have the overhead projector out, um, like I said, um, a lot of this lecture is dedicated to food. Um, so let's go over the top 15 Wisconsin foods. So number one, we have Fish Friday. Like I said, today feels like a Friday. It's not Friday. But for whatever reason, there's thousands of restaurants serve fish on Fridays in Wisconsin. And it's a big deal. Uh, don't say that it isn't. Uh, it is. Uh, they do have a lot of different kinds of fish there. Fishing is really popular there, uh, which is understandable because they have, uh, what, 15,000 lakes. 
<clears throat> now, another popular food is cheese curds. Now, I've never had cheese curds. Isn't Fish Fridays a Catholic thing too? Uh, yes, Mrs. J, that's a good point. Uh, in, in Catholic Catholicism, uh, it used to be that you could only eat fish on Fridays. And so um, there, there, there had been a, a high Catholic population in Wisconsin, uh, just like in its neighboring states. Uh, first they were the Shakers, and then they were the Quakers, and they were strict fundamental Christians. Uh, so I don't necessarily not Catholicism maybe, but uh, maybe it's, it's, it's a tradition of Fish Friday because they've had that uh, strong uh, that strong uh, Quaker and uh, history. Yeah, there are. Very high Catholic population. Hmm. She's Catholic too, my friend, LOL. Okay, so. 100% Swedish too. It's nice, so, so Countryman has been there. Culver's has cheese curds. They are very tasty. You know, I was offered a job at Culver's. I, I didn't know that they had that. Um, I remember one time I was offered a job for Culver's. Sid, I haven't been to her Wisconsin place actually. There's a Culver's Country hamburgers in Austin, Sid, Texas. I've only been to her other place. But continuing on, so cheese curds, um, I've never had them, but they sound delicious. The best cheese curds are eaten within 12 to 24 hours after when they were made. Uh, cheese curds, they sound like something I would really like. I like dairy, I like cheese a lot. So, uh, number three, we have beer brats. Curds are what they make poutine with. Oh, okay, interesting. They do have poutine fries available in Hawaii at many different places, so I will check that out. So, beer brats. Uh, the recipe for beer brats is three to four cans or bottles of beer, enough to cover the meat. Um, one to two onions and two to three tablespoons of Worcestershire sauce. I'm not big on brats or meats in general. But um, we were talking about cheese curds, so I'll give you guys a, a, a closer picture. These are cheese curds right here. And as you can see, they kind of look like tater tots. Um, it looks like he's, he's eating those with a glass of beer. Uh, which is very popular in Wisconsin. Like I said, uh, Miller is in uh, Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Schlitz Lager is located there. And also Paps Brewing Company. Paps Beer. Okay, so back to the list. Um, we have number um, four. Sir, people say Wisconsin has the best poutine in the States, but I don't know. People also say Buffalo, New York does too. Interesting. So, Booyah. I've never had Booyah, but apparently it takes one to two days to cook. Set. You cook it in a cast New iron Rogers kettle. Jam, check it out. And it's made in lar it's made in a kettle with a wood burning fire. Uh, it's made with the bones of chicken, beef, pork, and oxtail. Now, oxtail soup is a delicacy in Hawaii, and uh, it has the bones in it. But um, oxtail soup, it costs like fifty dollars a bowl here. I have no idea why it's so expensive, uh, but it is. Common. This is an oxtail soup though, but I can see that it's similar. Uh, maybe oxtail soup is so expensive because it probably takes a while to cook. But this is booyah. Booyah is a mixture of all those bones, um, chicken, beef, pork, and oxtail. And then other ingredients are potatoes, rutabaga. I'm not even sure what a rutabaga is. Peas, carrots, cabbage, celery, salt, and pepper. It's popular at church picnics and fundraisers. People outside of Wisconsin usually have never heard of it. Uh, you're right. I've never heard of Booyah, and I don't think anybody in the class has heard of it either. MRSG Mermaid said, Scandinavians like that food. I've never had it. Country mad. Interesting. Said, Rutabaga is like turnips or radishes. Oh, okay. I could grow. I'm growing turnips and radishes right now. So, uh, forward, as the uh, Wisconsin State uh, logo is, the Butter Burger. Like I said, there's a Culver's Butter Burger in Austin, Texas. It was like the only location. 
and I applied there and was offered a job, but I turned it down. Um, but the Butter Burger, uh, I remember Jack in the Box came out with the Butter Burger. Speaking of Jack in the Box, looks like Nico is not in class today. Uh, she uh, missed class, and Cody looks like Cody uh, is absent as well. So I just want to point that out. Uh, but also, a mainstay at family diners from Marionettes in Milwaukee serve the Butter Burger. Uh, a really good burger, burger, butter burger will have a slightly toasted and buttered bun as well as butter melted on top of the patty or mixed in with the ground beef. So there's nothing, uh, you know, astronomical about a butter burger. It's a burger with butter on it. And some people like their burgers greasy. I know I kind of do. I like a greasy cheeseburger, right? But also, uh, it seems that Wisconsin, they're just promoting dairy every chance that they can get. It seems like they have a bunch of cheese on their hand that's going to go bad unless they get rid of all of it. And so I, I kind of think that's what's going on here. Because they put cheese on anything. Like I said, it was once a law that you had to serve cheese with every meal at every restaurant. Until recently, they changed the law. Now, uh, continuing with the uh, common foods of Wisconsin, uh, this is called the Blue Moon Mystery Flavor. And nobody knows uh, what it is. It's a, a mystery flavor. And some people say it's bubble gum. Some people say it's honeydew, ginger, cotton candy, amaretto, cake frosting, various berries, vanilla, lemon, pistachio, coconut, almond, nutmeg, or marshmallow. But I don't know what it is, but I really want to taste it. Doesn't that look good? I'm going to have some ice cream right after class. I'll tell you the truth. I'm going to make a big ice cream sundae. All right, um, continuing on, number that was number uh, six. Number seven was an alcoholic beverage. Now, uh, in the brief research I did about Wisconsin, um, I came across the old-fashioned brandy. That's like hurricane flavor in the Outer Banks, LOL. So the old-fashioned brandy is two ounces of Corbell brandy, two dashes of Angostra bitters, one sugar cube, two orange slices, and two Marciano cherries. Joseph Anton and Francis Corbell showcased their brandy at the Chicago World's Fair of 1893. Some people think that the da 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 when Wisconsinites got creative. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure thing, Wisconsinites. Whatever you guys say. Continuing on. Continuing on, so that was number seven, Brandy. Number eight is, uh, we're actually going to skip number eight, I think, and uh, we're just going to go to number nine. <laughs> uh, I guess I uh, must have not liked eight. So we'll go to nine and ten. So number nine is uh, pastry, pasty. So a pasty is a Cornish tin well, Cornish tin miners came to Wisconsin after lead was discovered in Mineral Point. The miners are pasties for lunch. A pasty for lunch. Fish. So a fish boil is very common in Wisconsin. All you can eat fish is a real common thing there. HTTPS colon slash slash s 3 slash MRG underscore live slash tiff. Okay, so another thing. Oh, yeah, number eight is Wisconsin sausage. That's right. So, uh, Wisconsin sausage. Uh, some popular uh, breeds of sausage there is summer sausage. You know, you can order that. Venison sausage, which is deer sausage. Salami. 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 Hot dog. And uili. I don't know what that is. Italian and Polish sausage. European settlers, especially Germans, brought their old world recipes and link making methods with them to Wisconsin. Small butcher shops opened all over the state and like cheese, sausage became a signature food of Wisconsin. Moses and Keanu packages to 1170 New Wanu Avenue Po Box 37305 Honolulu, Hawaii 96823. So we'll just do a couple more here. Because of all the Scandinavian deli. So, uh, is that right? That's that's interesting. So, uh, deep frying and pressure cooking is really popular. Genuine broaster chicken 
um, this popular chicken place where you get deep fried chicken. Uh, frozen custard is everywhere. Uh, I guess that uses more dairy. Um, ice cream and egg yolks is something that's common in Wisconsin. They have the strangest food, food everywhere, don't they? I mean, Wisconsin really, uh, really uh, knows how to eat some strange stuff. I mean, I mean there's no getting around it. I mean, you know, I, I, this don't get me wrong. I think a lot of this stuff sounds delicious, but. Uh, you know, a lot of it is uh, weird for the sake of being weird, right? And I think that fits in well with Wisconsin. Uh, something that I first thought of when I saw somebody with a block of cheese on their head in a football game. I'm like, why are those people wearing cheese on their head? Oh, it's because Wisconsin's the cheese state. We make cheese. We're the cheese guys. Cheese, cheese, cheese. Really? So you wear a big block, fake a block of it on your head? You know, like Hawaiians don't wear surfboards on their heads. Like, it's weird for the sake of being weird and going over a lot of their foods. It seems like they have that same kind of mentality. Okay, continuing with the, uh, with the lecture here. Uh, believe me, we're almost done with the food. Actually, we're not almost done with the food. There's still a lot more. <laughs> the brat sandwich. This is something that I would eat. I don't necessarily like bratwurst. Actually, I wouldn't eat this. This looks disgusting. The pickles, the onion, the ketchup, the cold bun. That looks gross. Who would want to eat that? Would any of you eat that? I would not eat that. And I'm pretty hungry, too. Now, this is something more my uh, style. Cream puff. Now, I actually have a bunch of these in the refrigerator right now. You can get them at Costco. Yeah. They, they don't look exactly like that. That's it. But, uh, I'd eat on a hot dog bun, maybe. Yeah, if I was really hungry, I suppose I would. Um, this next one's really interesting. Tell me if you guys would eat these. This is, once again, weird for the sake of being weird. These are dessert tots. These are tater tots smothered in chocolate uh, fudge, whipped cream, and it's a, it's a sundae. Instead of... Uh, it's a Sunday. Instead of ice cream, they use tater tots. I, I actually couldn't combine these two. I, I mean, I thought this was a joke, but apparently this is something that's quite common in Wisconsin. Sweet and salty. Country man. Said. No thank you, LOL. Well, what? Like chocolate strawberry bacon pizza. <laughs> yeah. Nucky yacht. Good one, country man. But, but. Dessert tot sounds nasty. I know, I thought the same thing. I did look into it, and apparently um, it just really needs to be cooked correctly. Like, those aren't necessarily the regular uh, hot potato, potato tater tots. Those tater tots, they, are, they do have potatoes in them, but they're made a little bit sweeter. So it does look like just tater tots with uh, dessert on it, but they are a little sweeter. Sit. The new merch is here, Pop Champ, check it out. HTTPS colon slash slash merch dot s stream elements dot com slash mrg underscore live. So um, we were talking about the uh, European influence and the, uh, the so food of like Wisconsin. Things. Country man. Sit. I bet. So this is a uh, European food. This is a, some sort of potato cake served uh, with cheese, kind of like fondue. Uh, Rosity, roasty, roasty, roti. Uh, it's hard to pronounce. It's from a Scandinavian country, I believe. Similar, you know, to their pancakes and all their other uh, different uh, foods that have a real European influence. Uh, I'll see if uh, this right here is the Danish crinkle. Um, you know, I guess they eat this in Denmark. Um, maybe somebody uh, can ask that uh, Bjorn uh, whether or not he has ever had a Danish crinkle. Some other European influence that I saw that I noticed was the uh, Norwegian meatballs. Now, I don't uh, really like meatballs, but these ones look, uh, these don't look like the typical spaghetti uh, meatballs. These look actually really, uh, really good. Norwegian meatballs. I actually had these once before, now that I think about it. They're the, the type of sauce. It's like a brownish uh, gravy mushroom sauce. These are actually good. I did have these once before 
at a, at a decent restaurant. Uh, something um, that you can only find in Wisconsin is the Limburger sandwich. Now, who knows what Limburger cheese smells like? Limburger cheese uh, is the ex replicates the exact odor of feet. Smelly, stanky feet. And, uh, the, you know, a Limburger sandwich isn't for everybody. Also, a Limburger sandwich, um, there's usually nothing but the bread and the cheese. And the cheese, it's a very interesting texture. It's hard on the outside, but it's soft on the inside. So you break into it, you take a bite, and, you know, you feel the outside skin. It, it pierces the uh, cheese, and then your mouth gets flooded with liquid cheese goodness. But yeah, that's a Limburger sandwich. Um, if you're ever in Wisconsin, uh, you know, don't be shy. Get one. <laughs> uh, we talked about maple syrup. Chicago, um, Wisconsin is one of the top Country countries with maple syrup. Lumbridge or smelly cheese. Also, a better burger. We mentioned our butter burger. We mentioned the butter burger. This is a, uh, a Wisconsin butter burger. This isn't from uh, a re this isn't one from Culver's. This is from a, a restaurant, and uh, you can see it's a greasy burger. That's what a butter burger is. And the bun's a little greasy, and the burger's a little buttery and greasy. And a lot of people, including myself, like my burgers like that. Uh, we talked about the brandy old fashioned. Uh, that's a the most the drink of. Wisconsin. That's what they drink there. That's the drink of the state, the brandy old fashioned. I, I the, one of the only people that I knew from Wisconsin. Her name was Brandy, and I'd be willing to bet that she was named after this alcoholic drink, the brandy Wisconsin. However, she told me that she was named after that cheesy, no pun intended. Brandy told me that she was named after the cheesy classic rock song of the same name, Brandy. You're a fine girl, fine girl. What a good wife you will be. You will be, Brandy. You're a fine girl. What a good wife you will be, Brandy. You're a fine girl. What a good wife you be. All right, um, yeah, Brandy, she actually, I worked with her uh, on a farm here in Hawaii, and then she also, she had some editing, she, we, uh, she I hired her to do some editing, some, some photo, some, anyways, anyways, so her name is uh, Brandy, and uh, she, uh, I worked on a farm with her, and, uh, oh yeah, the song, I bet she was named after that drink. But she said she was named after that classic rock song. But now that I learned about the drink, I bet she was named after the drink. She kind of had a thing for me, but what woman doesn't? <laughs> Three elements. Said, <coughs> the new merch is here. Pop Continuing. Frozen custard. Very popular food. Survive. Looks good, huh? Frozen custard. They don't need ice cream in Wisconsin. They eat frozen custard. Edwin underscore scissor underscore bottom. Said. Hello, smiley face. Hello, smiley face. So, uh, another common sweet in Wisconsin is morning buns. They're not cinnamon buns. They're not honey buns. They're morning effing buns. Get it right or pay the price. Another uh, common food in Hawaii. Don't worry, we're almost... Uh, Done with this segment. We're, we're, next, we'll go over famous people from uh, Wisconsin. Uh, did I say Hawaii? Okay, I meant Wisconsin. <laughs> so another popular cheese in Wisconsin is Colby. You know, a good friend of mine, uh, he was named Colby, but he spelled it with a K, not a C. K. He was a good guy. Oh, oh yeah. Well, anyways, um, so that's my uh, new Instagram right there. And like I said, I'm going to remind myself to just post videos and pics from the class. No cat pics, no butt pics, just pics from the class. 
And so that's why it's at Mr. G live stream. So if you want to be part of this class, we're going to be doing this every day, every weekday, Monday through Friday, coming up in the new year, 2021. We've got two days left in the year. Today's the last day of the year. I mean, the last class day of the year. HTTPS colon slash slash www.instagram.com slash MRG live stream. Thank you, Mrs. J. So that's going to be the official classroom um, Instagram. And like I said, I'm going to try to just do uh, class pictures and stuff like that. Okay, we'll do a few more foods, and uh, then we'll move on. Let's see, uh, something good. Well, uh, this is uh, wild rice. Um, and, you know, what's so interesting about wild rice? Well, uh, wild rice, um, it's very, uh, it, it sustained many of the early settlers of Wyoming. Excuse me, <laughs> Wisconsin. And uh, it's not something that grows everywhere. And when you're dealing with a winter, like the kind of winters they have there, uh, something like wild rice, which can be preserved and which can hold you over winter, uh, really uh, kept them from starving to death on, in the many early years of Wisconsin. All right. So we learn about food. We learned about uh, facts. Now let's learn about famous people from Wisconsin. Well, everybody's favorite actor, Spencer Tracy, he is from Wisconsin. Uh, you may remember him in a movie called Look Who's Coming to Dinner. Um, in that movie, he uh, questioned his daughter's relationship uh, with an African American. But in the end, they all get along, and him and Katherine Hepburn have sex. And who doesn't want to see Spencer Tracy bang Katherine Hepburn, right? I mean, I'd pay front row admission for that. Who else is from Wisconsin, Mr. G? Well, you've heard of Willy Wonka, right? Yeah. Well, did you know he hates kids? Yeah. He hates children. He's from Wisconsin. Not Willy Wonka, but uh, Gene Wilder is from Wisconsin. Which is funny, because I always thought that Gene Wilder was from Europe. Moving on. Who else is from Wisconsin? Well, Pete Davidson. He's from Wisconsin? No, he's not from Wisconsin. Wait a second. That's not Pete Davidson. It's me, Shoshana. I made it to class tonight. That's not Pete Davidson. I know who that is. That's Sloth from Goonies. Sloth from Goonies, a.k.a. John Matasok, the number one NFL draft pick from 1980, fun facts, who played Sloth from Goonies. And yes, he looked a little weird. However, he was a, a Hall of Fame NFL football player. And, you know, he, he had fun with his looks. Give the guy. If you can't laugh at yourself, then uh, you have no business in comedy or entertainment. So who else is from Wisconsin? Well, the monk. The monk is from Wisconsin. Um, he has a complicated name. I don't have it on hand. The monk is from Wisconsin. Okay, I'm sorry uh, if it F's. I can't really stop the stream. Sir, I'm from W. Oh, really? Nice. You know who also is from uh, Wisconsin is Frank Caliendo. Frank Caliendo. So uh, they are. You know who he reminds me of? You can send Mr. Who does Frank Caliendo remind you guys of? Just to eleven seventy, New Wanu, New Box three seven three zero five, Honolulu, Hawaii nine six eight. You know who also is from? You may have a bean scam. Wisconsin. Chris Farley. Bam, Chris Farley, exactly. He is also from Wisconsin. Are they related or what? Is there something in the water? Nothing but FS, but I have really bad reception at work. Oh, okay. So who else is from uh, Wisconsin? 
Well, William, a.k.a. Evil Defoe, is from Wisconsin. Really? William Evil Defoe is from Wisconsin? Yeah, he's from there. Who else is from Wisconsin? Well, Heather, the porn star, Graham, is from Wisconsin. F year two. Heather, the, I know it's effing here to the chat. Yeah, it's it's playing here, but I, it won't connect to the chat. So something's going on with Twitch, guys. There's nothing I can do about it. <clears throat> so Heather, the porn star Graham, is also from Wisconsin. Okay, just a, a couple more celebrities. Maybe one more celebrity from Wisconsin is one of the Dukes of Hazard is from. Wisconsin. All right, I didn't show the state capital. State capital's right there. It's a nice state capital. It's right there on the water. The state capital of Wisconsin. There's lots of pictures of it. People like it a lot. Uh, we talked about uh, Lambeau Field or the Green Bay Packers and how they play on Lambeau Field. Uh, this is Lambeau Field. It's the oldest Seth. football active Elf football Mr. field the in the United States. HTTPS colon slash slash S3 Melliman's. And uh, I also wanted to touch really quickly on uh, Basilica of Josophat, which is one of the nicest churches in the United States. And we were talking about um, how prominent uh, Christianity, I'm not going to, you know, talk about any uh, particular branch of Christianity, uh, but yes, Catholicism, but also uh, Protestant and uh, Quakers. Um, but anyways, uh, Wisconsin has uh, always had a large religious community, and they have one of the nicest churches in the uh, United States. It's reminiscent of the uh, 16th Chapel in, um, in Italy. So you see this right here. You think you're looking at something in old school England, uh, but this is actually a close-up of the uh, church there. All right, another um, thing, the Wisconsin River is known to have these dells. This is a dell, D-E-L-L. -L. And it's like a, a lot, like a miniature island, except that it goes up. And it's in the Wisconsin River. It shows, uh, these things show up with rivers that are highly old. So the uh, Wisconsin River must be really old. Something else you can find in Milwaukee, Wisconsin, is the Harley Davidson Museum. Uh, so, I mean, if I was over there, you know, I would check that out. All right. And, um, yeah, I apologize about any uh, technical difficulties here. Um, like I said, I know uh, it's happening. I can't see the chat over here. It's, it's, it's playing fine, but I can't see the chat. Thanks for all the followers today, all the new followers. Uh, this is the last class of the year. Oh, she's not on. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Ah, oh, anyways, uh, she's, uh, this is the last class of the year. And so we won't have class again until Monday. Tomorrow is New Year's Eve. Uh, the day after that is New Year's Day. And then we have Saturday and Sunday. Um, I will be live on uh, YouTube or Twitch. Uh, I probably, I don't think I'm going to go anywhere, uh, but I will be doing some streaming here. Uh, we'll do some desktop stuff. Like I said, I'll break out the video games or something like that. Or um, maybe I'll introduce the robot to the kitties, the new kitties that haven't met the robot. I'll do that or something like that. I do plan on going live. I do plan on being productive. Um, I do plan, uh, I, this, this classroom will grow. This is a good, high quality class. This is a good high quality Twitch stream. If you've never seen this before, then you should hit the follow button. Maybe you can't hit the sub button, but you can hit the follow button. Mr. G, me. I'm gonna be doing this Monday through Friday at the same time. Uh, this is a service that is in demand. Uh, this is something that I would normally, that I still do, charge between $25 and $50 an hour. Uh, and you're getting it for free on Twitch. Uh, it's something that I enjoy doing and they say, you know, if you enjoy doing something enough, you're willing to do it for free. Uh, if you enjoy doing something enough, you're willing to do it for free until um, you're paid for it. 
So like I said, I, I have been paid for teaching. It's something I'm really good at. Um, I hope you guys understand that. Uh, it's not necessarily easy. It does come naturally, but it is somewhat time consuming. Uh, you know, I do put a lot of time into the lectures and stuff like that. And I do appreciate, um, you know, anybody uh, watching. Like I said, uh, this, this does definitely have the potential to grow. It has legs, as they say. Other, other streamers you might see, maybe it's a guy by himself, not very exciting, not very um, talkative, uh, driving across the country alone in a, in a car. You know, what do you have there? What, do you, what are you getting out of that? Are you going to watch that for 12 hours? You're going to regret it afterwards. You're going to be like, whoa, what did I just spend my whole day watching? Here, be wearing some sort of within like an hour or two hour class, you're going to learn something. You're going to gain something. You're going to be a better person than you were when you came. And uh, you'll, you'll be a better person. You'll know something more. Uh, a lot of times, Jordan Peterson says this a lot. A lot of times you'll uh, spend, everybody does it, all people of all ages, except for maybe real old people. But so many people procrastinate, so many people waste time on watching YouTube videos. You know, YouTube's the second most popular website next to Twitter. So a lot of people of all ages, uh, they waste time and they regret things that they watch on YouTube. It's important to uh, be mindful, be mindful of what you're watching and what you're doing with your time because it goes by like that. Once again, with my class, with my stream, it's going to be an hour to two hours at the most. But you'll actually learn something. You'll actually gain something. And it'll go by quick, too. And it's fun. You know, tonight, today's a, a, a strange day because, you know, it's two days left until the new year. And it was one of the strangest years 2020 ever. If you're watching this on YouTube now, if you're watching this in the future, uh, take a second and smash that like button or give me a like because I really deserve it. Post this on your Twitter or your Facebook because I deserve this. I'm offering a service that's in demand. I'm offering a service that people have paid me good money for previously and they still do. Not viewers, private tutoring. Um, and it's something, like I said, that's highly in demand. So 2021 is going to be a great year for Mr. G's classroom. You can call it the GX classroom, but it's Mr. G's classroom. Because I was Mr. G before there was ever any X or anything like that. Okay? And I'm always going to be Mr. G. And I'm always going to be a teacher and I'm always going to be a damn good teacher too. So if you found me right now and you never seen me before, you, you've hit the jackpot on, on searching around Twitch for something to watch. Okay? Like I said, uh, class is at a specific time, Monday through Friday, 12 o'clock Hawaii time. So that's 2 o'clock on the West Coast, 3 or 4 o'clock in the middle of the country, and 5 o'clock on the East Coast. And it's going to be like that all year until daylight savings time. So I appreciate everybody, especially if you come here on time. There's always a five, ten minute uh, wait for people to come and show up, uh, you know, a hold up, uh, a start screen. Uh, but yeah, I really appreciate that everyone that comes here on time, and I really hope all of you have a really great year. Um, you know, I know a lot of people are out and about, but uh, special shout out to Big Block, Mrs. J, Anita, uh, Maza, Maze Jordan, uh, um, Wyatt, Super Roofer. Uh, I can't remember, uh, I mean, it's, it'd be impossible to remember everybody. I know a lot of people aren't here, but um, Cody. Uh, but yeah, I appreciate all you guys, and uh, check out my Discord. That's the best way to, uh, to uh, come in contact me. Uh, like I said, it's the last class day of the year, but I, prob I will be live before the end of the year. So um, I'm going to go and end the lecture on that. We're going to play the state song of the state of Wisconsin, and I'm going to play some of the uh, wonderful images of Wisconsin. Like I said, I hope you guys had a wonderful Lord day. And uh, check out this new movie Thanks called Soul. Uh, it's got a character, a teacher named Mr. G, who likes cats. Uh, he looks kind of like me, too, with the glasses and everything. For a good time, join Mr. G's Discord. Uh, he's, he's black, but you know, I'm, I'm kind of, I'm pretty much, you know, my own, I'm, I'm pretty much black too. So, you may have been scammed. so yeah, uh, check out this movie, it's about Mr. G. I don't know if they based it off of me, but apparently uh, it's about a teacher named Mr. G that likes guns.
Uh, thanks for all the new viewers. Uh, I think you've been scammed or whatever. Thanks for contributing. Countryman, I, I forget to leave you out. Uh, thank you for everything that you've contributed, uh, Countryman. You fit in great with this class, and I appreciate you being here, too. Um, Countryman, uh, you really add uh, insight to the class, and uh, you're very uh, intelligent as well. Uh, thank, uh, thank you, everybody. Um, I appreciate everything's moving in the right direction. I can feel that. And uh, it's going to be a great year. Let's just say a real quick prayer, and uh, then I'll get this thing. Um, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. My God, I am sorry for my sins with all my heart, and choosing to do wrong, and failing to do good, I have sinned against you, much love above all things. I firmly intend, with your help, to do penance, to sin no more, and to avoid whatever leads me to sin. Our Savior, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Dear Lord, thank you for everything you've given me. Thank you for this opportunity to teach this class. Thank you for all the nice, kind people in the chat. Um, please let this year be the best year ever for everybody that cares about me and everybody that I care about. And please let the classroom grow to great extents this year. So by this time next year, we have many more viewers and I'm teaching many more people because I really enjoy doing that. Please bless all the CATs. And thank you for protecting them, and thank you for protecting me so I can protect them. Make this a great year for me, everybody in the chat, all the real ones, and make it a great year for all the cats. Let us get this farm this year and the cat sanctuary. Thank you for this opportunity. I'm not going to let you down. I'm not going to let them down. I'm motivated. Thank you for this opportunity, and please protect us. Protect us with your umbrella. Thank you for everything you've given us. And I love you, and I, I, I feel really blessed, and I, I'm going to take this opportunity and go in the right direction. Thank you for everything you've given us. And Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Okay, guys. It's going to be a great year, and uh, I love all you guys. Uh, we're going to listen to the uh, state song of Wisconsin, and uh, coming up on Monday, we'll start up with a new state. It's a surprise. What state? Country map. Set. Peace out. On Wisconsin, on Wisconsin, grand old majesty, we thy loyal sons and daughters hail thee good and brave. On Wisconsin, on Wisconsin, champion of the right, forward our motto, God will give thee might. On Wisconsin, on Wisconsin, grand old badges day. The new merch is here, Pop Champ, we check it out. HTTPS colon slash slash mrh.screamelements.com slash mrg underscore live. On Wisconsin, on Wisconsin, champion of the right. Forward our motto, God will give. Thank you, everybody. Merry Christmas. Happy New Year.